is how you attach the band to the uh, adapter that lets you plug into the connect to the door. Right? You open it up, place the resistance band through here, and you have a, this end to open the door. This is the Steiger Stainless Chest Press. You want to put one foot forward and put your weight into the front knee. And you're pushing up and out. You do uh, so many reps of that. And then when you're done, you'll, you'll switch legs. Put your left foot forward. Lean into the uh, left foot and do the same thing for another. This is the chest fly. So you start out with your chest opened up, feet, parallel stands, and This is a bicep curl. Uh, you can do the bicep curl with dumbbells or you can use resistant bands. Uh, to use resistance bands, uh, we're still connected to the door. You start out in a bent over position, and you come up, and you curl, and you release, and you curl. And that's the bicep curl. This has an exercise is a vertical wood chop. Uh, you can use a med ball can of beans, anything that gives you some weight. If you want. Basically, you're going uh, in a vertical motion uh, with your endpoints being high and low. So, you want to start high and you go down. This is the diagonal wood chop. You do left diagonal and right diagonal. It's similar to the vertical wood chop. Start here and you work high to low. And you pick your endpoints. Uh, this is the way you do it. And you get there again, you can use a med ball, dumbbell, uh, heavy canister, whatever you want. So it's, this would be one rep, two or rep. Works your uh, core and hands. After you do one side, you would turn and then you would do the other. Okay, the next exercise is called abs heel to the sky. So it's pretty much the, as the description. You're, you're laying down, you put your feet in the air, and you're basically just lifting your pelvis and moving your heels up into the sky. The next one is just a, a vertical crunch. Uh, legs are up, and you're just lifting your torso. And then you have the, some oblique uh, exercises. You can uh, just alternate like that toward the obliques. plank with a toe raise. So you want to start in a plank position with your elbows on the ground, keep your abs tucked in, and you basically want to just lift your feet off the ground, keep your shoulders down and back, and your abs sucked in, and it's quite the ab work. Part of the circuit we want to work uh, the lower part of the body so we want to do first off we'll do a uh, reverse lunge so that's just back up. and 
you can just stay on one leg if you want, or you can alternate legs, uh, whichever works for you. Bob, the model, can you go sideways so we can see sure. how your legs are parallel to the ground? That one sideways as well, I model can. Bob. How's that? See how his booty goes back? And you don't have to take a real big step here. And that is the uh, side lunge. chunk of this circuit it's more of the cardio side of things uh, first thing you want to do is jump squat or squat jumps uh, squat jumps pretty basic you basically go down into a squat and jump and if you have room you can reach the sky or if you're tired by this point you don't have to raise your arms but basically it's just a squat and a jump squat and jump and you do that for however many repetitions you want to Well, the next thing we want to do is uh, the good old jumping jack. There's different flavors of jumping jacks, but we'll just try to keep it basic. We'll just do a basic jumping jack. And probably 30, 35, 40 reps will be sufficient at this point. But we saved the best exercise for last at the end of the circuit. That's the good old squat thrust. So basically, you go down into a squat, kick your legs back, bring your legs in, and come up. Do one, do one sideways for the people. You can, uh, when you go into your squat and throw your legs back, it's best to keep your feet spread apart a little bit so you don't hurt yourself. So it's back. Here you want to keep your feet out. Back in and up. And that's the squat thrust. 